Okay, Shalom. Okay, first of all, I want to say all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bahashim Raka Kodash, uh, double honors to our apostles and elders at GMS, and uh, to the, uh, you know, the brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and in truth. Shalom. Okay, this is GMS Precepts. My name is Nazar Kud, and um, I want to go into uh, this word here in Job 5, okay? Job 5 and 12. Okay, I'll just read it. It says, um, uh, he he disappointeth the devices of the crafty, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. So the word I want to go into is enterprise, right? So let's break the scripture down. It says he di he dis he disappointeth the devices of the crafty. Now the he is referring to the Most High. Okay, the Most High controls all. He controls. Um, what's that? Let me get that. Um, let me get that scripture. In um, Proverbs 21, I believe. Proverbs, excuse me. Proverbs 21. Proverbs 21, verse 1. It says, Yeah, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whither, whithersoever he will. Okay? So the Most High controls... Um, you know the the real the 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 kings of the earth, which are the ones that really want run this planet, which you know they go by various names: Illuminati, uh, the bankers, the globalists, or whatever you want to call them. Um, the Most High controls them, man. So they might think they ha they might think they have a plan, okay? That that they're getting from Satan, who they pray to. Okay, but really the most high is controlling all their ways and their steps. Okay, so going back to Job, he says, so that he is referring to the most high. It says, and he disappointed the devices of the crafty. Now the devices go into a lot of things. Right, the crafty are speaking about, um, you know, the, the, the Illuminati, right? Because I have here Psalms 83. Right, it says Psalms eighty three verse three. They have taken crafty counsel against thy against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. That that crafty counsel is is referring to the Illuminati, man. Okay, all right, because their whole thing is the the next verse explains it. They have said, "Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may no more be a remembrance." So their their so their whole plan, their whole agenda. All right, is to conceal our true heritage from us, conceal our true identity from us. The us referring to the real Israelites, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Their the, the their whole plan, the elite's whole plan, is to, is to conceal our true heritage from us because these these other nations, as well as well as the uh, other nations, like this, uh, like it says in this uh, chapter, because they know that. The further and further away we are from our true power, okay, Yahweh, right, the Most High, the further we are from Him, uh, the easier it is for us to be taken over, all right? So, going back to Job, the devices are, are come in many forms, okay? It, c it, it can come in, just like I mentioned, um, um, uh, their their false philosophy making making the real Israelites believe that they're not Israel, but they make them believe like they're uh, from Africa. Okay, M make them think that they're Latino, Native American, or whatever have you. All right. Okay, their devices go into the uh, uh, um, uh, false philosophy. All right. Okay, so. He says he the and oh that device can also go into that microchip man, okay, and and the and the new world order ultimately the new world order. He says he he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. So this is the word I want to look into. So if we go to the word enterprise, okay, H eighty four fifty four. The Hebrew word here is thawashya, thawashya, okay, and uh, it means wisdom, sound knowledge, success, 
Okay, sound or efficient wisdom, abiding success. So basically, it means sound wisdom. Sound or sound it means wisdom or success, pretty much. Okay, sound or efficient wisdom or abiding success. So their ultimately ultimate their ultimate um success. Okay, is what that new world order man. Right, he says he disappointed the devices of the crafty, the Illuminati. So that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Now let's go to Job. Let's go to Job, the 20th chapter. Okay. Job, 20th chapter. Right. I believe it's. um. Let's scroll down here. Um. Yeah, it's um let me see when he is about to fill his belly, right? Right. Verse twenty two and twenty three. Job twenty two and twenty three. I'll I'll start at twenty two. In, in the fullness of his sufficiency he shall be in straits. Okay, every hand of the wicked shall pee upon him. So the fullness of his sufficiency is having that new world order established. Okay. It says he shall be in straits. What straits? That means a position of difficulty. All right. Verse 23, verse 23. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. So um, when he is about to fill his belly, meaning when he when the full when the when the new world order is fully established. OK. When when they start implementing that the microchip on the masses, when World War Three is is uh in 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 effect, okay, they they're gonna think that their plan is finally coming into fruition. But surprise, surprise, okay, the Most High is gonna deliver the nation of Israel. Okay, it says the Most High and and destroy them. It says the Most High shall cast the fury of His wrath upon them. Now, what's the fury? Of the Most High's wrath, those ICBM missiles, those missiles that these other nations have, the Most High shall cast the fury of His wrath upon him, and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. The Most High is going to make it rain. Okay, the Most High is going to make it rain missiles, two hundred million of them. All right. So going back to Job five and twelve, there that enterprise is going into what their new world order. Because the whole the whole thing is they they want they want to do away with religion they want to do away with the dollar, okay, the petrodollar, which they're doing now. That's why you see the stock markets going up and down like crazy. They want and and they want to establish a one world government. They want to do a one world government, one world religion, which ultimately is Satan, the worship of Satan, okay, and one world currency, which is gonna be that microchip. All right. That that's what can that's what consists of the new world order. That's that's what consists of their enterprise, as this word says right here. But guess what? It says what? He disappointed the devices of the crafty. So the most high is gonna end that shit. The most high is gonna not allow the most high it says it right here in Job. In the fullness of his sufficiency he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall be upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. It says, He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel so shall strike him through. It is drawn and cometh out, cometh out of the body, yea, the glittering sword cometh out of his gall. Terrors are upon him. Okay, that's referring to those ICBM missiles getting shot on the kingdom of Esau, on the kingdom of Edom, man. Okay, so that's the word I want. I wanted to go into Job 5. I wanted to go into the word enterprise, which is Thawashia, right? Thawashia in the Hebrew, H8454, which means abiding success or wisdom, which is what their new world order. Their enterprise is their new world order, which the Most High is going to destroy. Okay, so that's that's it. I wanted to touch on that that uh, word right here in Job five and twelve. Okay, so until the next show, shalom.